talk about how to practice not being right. So, we all know someone who is the proverbial know-it-all, right? You know that person. He or she is so busy being right about everything that they have no clue about the effect they're having on other people. So the question is, why do some people always have to be right? Well, I'm going to tell you why. It's be usually because they're afraid to be exposed. And that's about vulnerability. Vulnerability is often perceived as a weakness, and that can be very intimidating for some people and even very scary. And so being a know-it-all is a cover-up. And the, the problem is it's not an effective way to mask what we perceive to be our faults or weaknesses. So I decided to make a list of the pros and cons of being right all the time. And I can only come up with one pro, and that is by being right all the time, we feel competent, smart, and usually a little self-satisfied. We all like to feel competent and smart, and let's face it, sometimes self-satisfaction feels pretty good too. The problem is, when you always have to be right, because you're covering up the vulnerable parts of yourself, like your insecurities and weaknesses, you're not fooling anyone, including probably yourself. So let's look at the cons that I came up with. When you're always right, you stop learning. So let's think about this. Being right all the time is a confirmation of knowledge you already have, right? Therefore, you don't need to learn anything. And I don't know about you, but I want to be learning every day. That's not the kind of life that I want to be living. So you can't do that if you already know everything, right? Okay, so another thing is people will avoid you. They will stop talking to you. They won't ask for your opinions or, or ideas or beliefs, and therefore you will live a very lonely life. And third, once we damage a relationship, we'll, we will have even less ability to influence them in future discussions. So, how do we practice not being right? These are my tips. First one is consider the big picture. What is your goal? Is it to influence people? Is it to develop mutually healthy relationships? Is it to progress in your job or your career? So needing to be right all the time will have a negative effect on all of those goals. The second tip is avoid saying I told you so when you are right. That's a hard thing to do, I admit. But bite your tongue because the outcome is usually not worth it. Instead, tell them you really value their viewpoint and that it made you think and it made you broaden your own views. And although it can be pretty hard to admit when you're wrong, have empathy for them and keep in mind that you have been there yourself and will be there again. Finally, assess what the costs and benefits will be to the situation and the relationship. Sometimes you realize that it would be better to be kind than right. And if we're honest with ourselves, we will probably admit that the benefits far outweigh the costs. The benefits are, again, people will, will respect us more, people will like us more, and people will feel that we respect and value them. All of those which will lead to a happier life and happier relationships. So thanks for being with me at, um, to Confidence Camp today, and we'll see you again tomorrow.